how to change the inner tube. Now, if you don't know already how to remove and reinstall your rear wheel, I'll link the video right here that I made last week that explains the entire process. And before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. So yeah, let's start. Your first step is to remove the tire uh, of your wheel. You're gonna wanna open the cap of the valve right here and remove all of the air in your tube if there was any left. How it works is you have a valve and you want to first loosen it and then you want to press on it to release the air. Once that's done, you can use your bike lever to remove the tire uh, out of the rim. You want to make sure you're using the regular end and not the pointy end. Uh, this uh, could actually uh, puncture your inner tube even more. Just place the bike lever inside the tire as you can see and then you can simply slide it like this to remove uh, the tire and it should easily come off. Okay, for your second step, it's really simple. All you have to do is remove the inner tube from the tire. You can just pull it out. For our third step, we're gonna put a new inner tube into our tire. Now you wanna make sure that the size of your inner tube is the right one for your tire and bike wheel. Okay, something else you may wanna consider is when you're gonna open the package for your new inner tube, it's gonna be all filled up. So putting some air in it first is gonna make it easier to fit it into the tire. For step number four, we're going to be putting back the tire into the rim. Now, if it gets too difficult, you can use again the bike lever. Also, be careful, um, you're going to also want to put the valve into the hole that's on the wheel. Step number five, which is putting air into the inner tube of your tire. I'm using a Presta valve, so I'm going to be using the second option of this pump, which is this one. And basically, you insert into the hole, and then once it's on the valve, you can open the clip so it stay on there. Um, also, when you put air in your inner tube, you want to check the maximum and minimum. It's normally written on the tire itself. So for me, it says maximum 120 psi. So I normally put 100 psi of air uh, in the inner tube. how to change a flat tire. Now make sure to subscribe to my channel since I'm going to be posting a new video about triathlon every week. Goodbye! Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams.